Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy AB and today I like to talk about the worst horror movie I've seen in 2023. And that movie, my friends, is The Exorcist Believer. Now, this is yet another legacy killer out there. I mean, I'd say this is probably almost as bad as Halloween Ends. And the crazy thing here is that they're directed by the same director, David Gordon Green. Now, I will say he did go well with uh, Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills, even though the Evil Must Die Tonight chant was kind of cringe in that movie. Evil dies tonight! Evil dies tonight! But I will say those are his two better films. Halloween ends suck, but that's a whole nother story right there. This movie sucks. So here's the synopsis. When his daughter Angela and her friend Catherine show signs of demonic possession, it unleashes a chain of events that force a single father, Victor Fielding, to confront the Nadir of evil. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that word right, Nadir. Nadir, I don't know. Correct me in the comments if I got it wrong, please. Terrified and desperate, he seeks out Chris McNeil, the only person alive who's witnessed anything like it before. And this movie's got a 22% on Rotten Tomatoes, 4.8 out of 10 on IMDb, and a 39% uh, score on Metacritic, and it's got an audience score of 48%. Not good. Neither the audience nor the critics like this movie, and I can see why. This is not even mediocre. This is just garbage, and it just feels like a run-of-the-mill, crappy, demonic possession movie. Like, extremely almost forgettable, but at the same time, it was so bad that it's been lingering on my mind for months here. Now, I will say that uh, I did like that they brought back the uh, OG characters, like that was a little nice Russian nostalgia, but the problem with how they did it is that they tried to like give Chris McNeil the Laurie Strode position in the movie here. Like, she's supposed to help out in a way, but she didn't at all. Like, all she did was when she, uh, went up to the, uh, possessed girl Catherine and tried to confront the demon inside of her. Like, oh, we've met before. Um, she thinks that she calms her down with a biblical chanting here. And no, uh, Catherine tricks her and gouges her eyes out with a, uh, metallic cross that fell off the wall earlier in that same scene. Bit of foreshadowing. They did bring back Linda Blair to play Regan McNeil, but her appearance was at the very end of the movie after everything went down after the climax. And it, it was just very brief, and I just was kind of pissed and I will say that the father who plays Victor here Leslie Odom Jr. I felt like he was just very calm like he was like hyped up on uh, Benadryl here like I thought that he was he just seemed very calm for what was going on and I guess this was just to show that he just wasn't a believer because there's like a scene in the intro of the movie where uh, he lost his wife while she was pregnant with his daughter Angela while they were vacationing and then some earthquake happened. I don't know, it just get, I, I guess they're just trying to give the character depth but he was just very boring and at times very frustrating to deal with. Now another big problem I have with this movie is that they tried, they were trying to do something different but they just, they did, they thought they were trying to do something different I guess. This movie just feels, feels like they were trying to uh, recreate the original Exorcist. Now the original Exorcist movie is still to this day I find one of the creepiest and most unsettling movies I've ever seen. Before this movie actually came out, I actually haven't seen the original Exorcist movie. This movie failed to capture the essence of what the original Exorcist is. It's just, at times it feels like it's not even an Exorcist movie. It's, people say that this movie is mediocre at best, but I can't agree with that. It, I think it's just personally hot garbage here. Hence the title, The Exorcist Believer's Hot Garbage. Amazing thumbnail, I bet. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, this was a, a two hour and one minute long movie. This was was just a big waste of time. I I hated this movie. Me and my me and my friend when we went to theaters to watch this, we wanted to walk out of the movie so bad to the point where we almost did, but we stuck around for the ending. After the ending, we're like this, and we just got up and left. Yeah, it was just a complete waste of our time to watch, and it was a waste of money to go spend on tickets. I regret watching the movie. I will. I I can't even say that this movie was even unsettling in the least. It was. If it was anything, it was campy. It was cringy at times. It was just. I can't believe this movie was made. Now I'm not saying this is David. Gordon Green's fault, even though I will say that he tends to be the legacy killer, and part of me wishes that the legacy uh, movie friend will just die down relatively quickly and quietly, because lately they've been ruining movies, and he's like the face of all this, which sucks. And I did hear that uh, they were originally planning on uh, making uh, two more movies to this. Last I heard, I think I think he's uh, I think either David Gordon Green's not returning or. They completely scrapped the idea for the sequels after watching this uh, abomination. I have to say that this is definitely the worst horror movie of 2023. This came out October 6th, two days before my 21st birthday. And I watched it later after it came out. And I will say that this is hands down the one of the worst movies I've, I've seen in a while. Definitely the worst of 2023, I'll, I'll tell you that. And I honestly think David Gordon Green should uh, stick to other things. What sucked is that I actually was hoping it would actually be good and, you know, break the mold out of 
the common rule that any movie after the original Exorcist movie, like all the sequels, all the all the spin-offs and bullshit here, uh, I thought it was gonna break the, the mold and break the rule here and actually be good and competent at best, but no, it, it failed miserably. So I think this is a very big, important lesson for everybody to learn from this movie. Don't touch up on the original. Don't make a sequel to the original. Leave it alone. I, sometimes when it comes to like movies like this, it just makes me wish that they would leave original classic movies such as The Exorcist alone. The only demonic possession movie I can say that was really good with its sequels, like almost perfect in a way, would be Evil Dead. The Evil Dead series. Even the TV show is amazing. I don't know, I'm just ranting at this point, but uh, yeah, I will have to give this movie a negative F triple minus here. And I know that's not a real score, but I'm making it a real score for this movie. This is a dog shit movie. It's a complete abomination. And it's an amazement with how much they put in to make the movie. They made quite a bit of money back here. I will say that's good for uh, Blumhouse right there. They made some money back even though this was a terrible movie. But uh, yeah, that's just my two cents on The Exorcist movie. I really wanted to make a video on it a while back, but I didn't get the chance to do it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my thoughts on The Exorcist. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This has been your boy, A.B. Out. Peace out.